Okay, so obviously, as you've seen from the video title, this was a good competition. And as you can imagine, around competition time, my focus is just doing my job out there on the competition floor and not necessarily filming things. So that's why I'm here right now, talking you through the things that I did film and giving you a bit of context behind this World Championships. <music> Reasonably light session today because we've got our second podium training tomorrow. So we want to put out a nice juicy routine tomorrow. Hello. Making important business calls. Hey, uh, yeah, try my best. Too. Another difference that there is at competitions is that other gymnasts use the pommel horse. So I'm normally used to training by myself, using the pommel horse by myself. But for example, there's a guy in my rotation who likes to put syrup and water on the pommel horse. So it's good to actually get used to that. So I'm training with him right now and almost getting used to this, that feeling of having syrup or water on the pommel. It's gonna be a little bit different to how I like it, but that's fine. And I need to get over that for competition. After podium training we do some media interviews, this is the same after qualifications and finals. So this is what the gymnastics media area looks like. Yeah, of course. What I like about this training hall is that it's all on a podium just like it is in competition. And that can sometimes have a real effect on how the apparatus feels and even just how landings feel, especially on floor. So it's great that at this competition, the apparatus is on the podium here and in the competition. So that is qualifications finished. How do I feel after that competition? I feel good. I feel confident. I, the competition felt just like training, which for a gymnast is exactly what you want to feel when you're going out there to perform in front of a crowd, in front of judges on that world stage. I just felt ready for that routine. It's exactly what I've been training like, and it really reflected that in competition. So again, that's exactly what I want to see. We have about five days now between the qualification day and between finals day. So hopefully, we can maintain that top spot that I qualified in. It's such a big statement qualifying in first position. It's an achievement in itself to do so, but realistically the job is only 50% done. I need to perform another great routine in that Pommel Horse final, which I'm feeling confident about. So I'm even enjoying going and watching the other competitions like the team finals and the all round finals and that's what I'll be doing to, to fill my time outside of the training hall um, in between my qualifications and finals. There were six days between qualifications and finals and that only really happens at World Championships or an Olympic Games. This is because all of the other events are between that, the all around, the women's all around, the team final. You know, there's a lot of days between that first competition and the second. So the real struggle behind training for those six days between qualifications and finals is really just keeping my focus. I'm physically ready to do this routine. The training program had worked. I was injury free. My body was ready. Now I just need to keep my mind in check. My coach and I do this by almost replicating what the finals will be like. So we find out what order we're up in. In this case, I was third up in the finals. Then my coach estimates the amount of time between my last warm up go and the go that I'm going to have before I compete. So I stick my competition gear on, pretend like it's finals and replicate that scenario in the days coming up to the actual finals day. So, the day was here, my second World Championships final. I qualified first, I was the favourite for this final really. The words that my coach Luke tells me uh, before finals day, he, he very carefully selects. They're the words that are going to be stuck in my head 
just before I do that routine. I was confident going into this finals because my preparations were so good and I knew that I could just replicate the routine that I've been doing in training in this competition day. Grace McLennan representing Ireland, the 23 year old and the world bronze medalist on Pommel Horseman 2019. Just like qualifications, it felt like training. My body or my mind didn't react any differently, even with that packed out arena. I just needed to do this routine one more time. Right on one pommel. Ooh. Wow. Incredible routine for Reese McLennan. Oh, the feeling of relief I got when I landed that dismount. When my feet hit the floor, relief is the only word that I can use to describe that feeling. All of those hours and years of hard work put into the gym all pays off in that moment. Honestly, I wasn't even nervous waiting for my score. I wasn't nervous watching the other competitors come after me to try and beat my score. I went there with a job in mind and that was to do that routine to the best of my abilities and, and that mission was accomplished. Anything after that routine was out of my control. The score is the judges, the other gymnasts, that's their job. I'd done my job and I couldn't be more proud to have done that. And I could not be more proud to call myself a world champion. <laughs> Sounds good even hearing it. <laughs> I'd be going back to Ireland as the first ever Irish gymnast to be a world champion. Thank you so much to everybody who has supported. Thank you to the Patreon supporters. Thank you to anybody who said a kind word in those comments or said a kind word to my face. The feeling that I have right now is knowing that it's all been worth it. All of those sacrifices that I've made growing up to go and train and dedicate my life to this sport. It's all been worth it for this moment and I, I really could not be happier right now. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed living it <laughs> and um, you know I'll, I'll catch you in the next video I'm gonna have a couple of weeks off now relax try not to think about gymnastics but I will be back soon with more content for you to hopefully enjoy hope everyone has a great day uh, I'm Reese McLennigan world champion signing out <laughs>